How you guys doing today is Lamar. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a new video for you guys and ladies. Today I'm going to show you that funky scent that smells good. Um, when it comes to scents that are really strong, potent, animalic, meaning a scent that smells like fur, body smells, um, something that resonates with that is usually a funky scent. You know, when you first initially spray on the fragrance, you're like, wow, this is really strong. Oh, this smells crazy. It smells like a barnyard. It smells like an animal, you know, and some people like those fragrances. I've sold to many people um, different type of scents, especially from Amouage. They have a plethora of fragrances that smells animalic, that has a lot of oud in there, that has a lot of uh, frankincense, myrrh, those strong, potent scents that really stand out. And the reason why people wear those type of funky scents is because it stands out and makes you smell different. And the dry down is what really captivates and capture people. Um, with those fragrances or those animalic scents, you have to kind of wait a little bit, uh, a little bit of time, probably like 10 to 15 minutes to smell the dry down so you could get the actual aroma of that fragrance. All right, so today I'm going to show you four funky fragrances that actually smell good. So let's get it started. All right, so the first scent I have today is going to be, I'm going to go with the Silver Oud from Amouage. Now, remember I said before Amouage is notoriously known for that animalic, strong, potent scent. Being a fragrance house from Oman, Middle East, they're very, very particular when it comes to their notes. This scent right here, Silver Oud specifically, has Madagascar vanilla in there, has Oud in there, has all those potent notes of Gaillac wood. But when you spray this on right here, it's just like a punch in the face. You know, when you initially smell it, it smells like you've been rolling around in hay all day in a barnyard. And after a while, like 10 or 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, it starts to open up and they smell the the freshness of it. You smell the vanilla in there. You smell the ooze starts to settle a little bit. And that's what you want. When I wear this scent right here, I want to step out somewhere very, very special. Like I'm going out for like my anniversary or I'm going to a special dinner or I'm going out with colleagues for a special night. Maybe we're celebrating something. This is not a scent that you wear on a normal day at all. Very potent, and you just need one or two sprays. And that's the beauty of wearing an animalic or a funky scent. Um, you don't need a lot of sprays. You definitely it's definitely cost effective, it lasts a while. So this bottle right here is gonna last me at least three to four years for sure. Because I'm not gonna spray a lot, I'm not gonna wear it often. I actually mix this with apart from the Marley scent, um, Altair, and I'm trying to smell it right now. I sprayed it on earlier before the video started uh recording and it's smelling amazing. So if you have Silver Oud and you have Altair from Parfums of Marley, definitely mix the two. It smells immaculate, all right? So that's my first funky set, Silver Oud from Amouage. Now to keep it on the Amouage, I'm going with the most popular Amouage scent, which is the Interlude. Now this scent right here is amazing because I think it's the most approachable scent out of the bunch that I picked today. Um, but it's still animalic and insane when it comes to the scent. Um, it has frankincense in there, has oregano, has some myrrh in there, has some smoke in there. This scent right here is super smoky, super, super potent. I sprayed this on one time in the morning time, and I kid you not, I went out around, I left for work way, maybe 9 a.m., and I went out for, to work. I went out after work around 8 p.m., and the scent was just hitting you know, these scents right here, you just need to spray a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. I sprayed it on the neck and I sprayed it on my chest area and it was just hitting all throughout the day. Um, I usually don't wear fragrances like this when I go to work, but that day I knew I was going out for the night. So I wanted something to stand the test of time and definitely um, interlude from Amouage was hitting and it got me um, to be noticed a lot. And a lot of people was asking me what I'm wearing. So Wait a little bit when you're spraying on the interlude. I know initially it smells very smoky and strong, but when you let it dry down, it'll blossom into some beautiful notes, all right? Now, that's my uh, second choice, interlude from Amouage, all right? Now, my third choice is going to be Clive C Christian X-Men. 
Now, <clears throat> not X Men. I'm talking about like Wolverine. I'm talking about X um, from Clive Christian. Now, this scent right here is amazing because I say I say it's the sweetest out of the bunch. Um, this one has orris in there, has cinnamon in there, has some vanilla in there. Uh, this scent right here is going to be amazing for a date night. If you want to impress, impress someone, wear Clive Christian X. Clive Christian X and Clive Christian scents are known to be one of the most exquisite, expensive fragrances on the market. Um, for a 50 mm bottle, you'll get, you'll spend around $350 to $400, depending on the scent. And it's worth the price. You know, these fragrances are handcrafted the bottles are handcrafted the notes are fermented for a while so when you spray that uh scent on it's gonna blossom amazingly this scent right here when you want to step out with your date and you're going to stk or you're going to catch and steak or you're going somewhere in the city you're gonna make a big big impact especially on the date and the people around you it has a sweetness to it but still an animalic strong note in there that I love. I don't know if it's the orris in there that makes it a little bit more animalic and strong, but Clive Christian X is that scent that for a special date night, for a special someone that you want to make a great impact. So that's my third scent, Clive Christian X Man. All right. Now, last but not least, I think this is one of my favorites out of the whole Creep collection. I say this all the time, which is Royal Oud. Now, this scent right here is overlooked. I've worked for Creed years ago, and a lot of people overlook this scent. They're coming for the Aventus, they're coming for the Himalaya, but I always spray Royal Oud for them. This is that impact scent. has bergamot in there, has pink berries in there, has some Oud in there. This scent right here is just amazing, amazing, amazing scent. It's the freshest out of the bunch. So if you're looking for that animalic, funky scent that's a little bit fresh, go with Royal Oud from Creed. It's amazing. I really, really hope they don't reformulate this scent because I know it's the most expensive fragrance they have in the collection, which is, I think, retail like $570 um, because the notes in there are super, super rare. So when you smell this fragrance right here, just know that you're going to smell rare. You're going to smell different from anyone else in the bunch that you're going out with. Um, you're going to smell different from everyone around you, your colleagues, your friends, only if they wear this scent. And what the amazing thing about this scent right here, even if someone else wears this scent, it doesn't smell the same. I've sprayed this on clients and I've smelled it on me because I've worn it in throughout the day and it smells totally, totally different. So this one right here has its own characteristic depending on the person it, um, you spray it on. So Royal Oud is definitely that funky, funky scent that will last all day long and project beautifully after the dry down. So that's my fourth scent for you is Royal Oud from Creed. All right, now let me know in the comments what you think. What's the funky scent that you wear that actually smells good that people kind of overlook? I know there's one I have um, my eye on, which is a Rick Owen scent, Lammy Land. I heard it's supposed to smell like fur and a crate and some crazy notes in it. I think it's retail like fifty hundred dollars. I don't know if they even make it anymore, but that's a scent I want to smell um, that I'm curious about. But let me know in the comments if you ever smell that or what fragrance do you wear that's animalic or funky. Let me know in the comments if I helped you and give this video a thumbs up if I helped you. And subscribe for more. All right. Peace.